bad, but I didn't know it was that bad since last time I went full driving. I don't normally live like this, FYI. Okay, hey guys, we went to Chernobyl, Prado. My name is Matt. Now today's video is five things I hate about Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 90 series. So let's jump right into it. Okay guys, straight into it. Number one, my number one pet peeve of my 90 series, and I'm sure a few of you can relate as well, but when it comes to serious off-roading and lift kits and everything like that, independent front suspension, IFS, CV, as you can see, no solid front axle, unlike your Land Cruisers, you know, your old controls, and as we know, not as much flex, not as good off-road, and also CVs can take a bit of a hit or two off-road as well and you know you can't have too much power as you, you break it. Mine already are clicking a bit because I've got big tyres so you know it's partly my fault as well. If I had normal tyres they probably wouldn't be under so much stress but um, I do go off road and I do use the big tyres a lot so um, that's just the realm I've gone and you can see why people do solid axle swaps and these things and how much more capable they would be if you had a solid axle swap but that is my number one thing I don't like about this car. It really should have solid front axle or at least if they did some variants of it back in the day so um, that's my number one thing I hate about my car okay guys the number two thing I hate about my Prado is the aftermarket support now you're probably thinking you got heaps of mods in here what are you talking about well a lot of these mods are from other cars so for example these mirrors I've said it before but these are for an 80 series Land Cruiser and I made them work okay if people have done that it's not my idea but you kind of overcome it by that, but no manufacturer actually makes them for a Prada 90. If they did, they'd hit a gold mine. Now, another thing is, um, even with suspension on this, as my knowledge is aware, you can get three inch lifts for these cars, but you can't go four inch or above. Now, uh, obviously above four inch is pretty ridiculous, but like this is all like just bits from other Land Cruisers that make it turn into a four inch lift for this car, but you can't really, go and buy a three inch lift. eBay do one, but it's for like Prado slash forerunners and it is a three inch lift, 75 mil, but if you want to go above for the big stuff, for the big tires, um, you're gonna go higher than that. So that's when body lifts come in. But in saying that though, there is quite a few mods I feel like in the aftermarket support, but I just had to put this as my second thing I hate about it because there's definitely those little things that are annoying. like. You can't get mirrors and you know certain bull bars and stuff um, and people ask me like you know where'd you buy these and I sent it to them and they're like oh it's an 80 series mirror like yeah because they don't make them for a Prado so compared to your 100 series 80 series patrols heaps of custom options heaps of stuff out for them Hiluxes but not as much as for the old Prados here and considering how many there are especially overseas they should really make some stuff for this car because they're absolutely everywhere so that's my second thing, aftermarket support. Okay guys, so, third one is road noise. Now, this car is quite loud when you drive, and I feel like from factory, I know it is quite a, like, quite a while ago it was made, like this one's 1996, but I feel like they could have somehow had a bit better sound deadening, because I've done the whole doors and under uh, ground in this, but not the roof, and it's made a big difference. And Obviously big tyres doesn't help like I have, but I just think that from factory they could have made it a little bit quieter because the interior is quite nice as it is considering and you know you get there's like four cup holders right here You've got heaps of slots and stuff to put everything everywhere So they've nailed that because it is more of a family wagon Remember not a full hard four-wheel drive like the other ones like the big Land Cruisers But I feel like they could have just made it a little bit quieter on the inside So when you're doing 110 on the highway, you don't just hear like, you know, all this really loud road rattle. So that's probably my number three pet peeve, things that I hate about this car, is road noise. Okay guys, my number four pet peeve that I hate about my Prado is the engine, which I'm sure you guys can all relate. Now, this is the 5VZ FE, the petrol motor. Now, it is a good solid motor and it will go the distance, but, 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 it's a bit underpowered, okay? Now, you're probably thinking, Matt, you got 35 inch tires, five inch lift, no, whatever, no wonder why you're underpowered. Yes, that's true, but I just feel like, considering it's a six cylinder, 3.4, they could have made it a little bit more juicy, a little bit more power. Now, it's not just me complaining. Everyone on the uh, Prada 90 forums on Facebook and stuff is saying the same thing. They're like, once a week there's a post, how can I get more power? How can I get more power? Now, 
the diesel's no better. The diesel's worse, if anything. You put your foot down, nothing happens. You got like, what, four cylinder, like 96 kilowatts. This is at least 132, 136 kilowatts. And I just think the motor itself is good and reliable and will go forever. Same with the uh, 1KD. But I just feel like they need a bit more power out of them. Now, it's a bit hard because obviously this car is, you know, almost 30 years old. So it's not really, like, it's not really fair because back then they could only do so much. But I just feel like if they could have got a bit more power out of this thing, it might obviously decrease the longevity of the vehicle, but it will just be a lot faster and more capable off-road. So people are trying to tune these, put chips in them and do all that sort of stuff. So um, I, will, I will probably do it one day, but as for now, we're just tugging along at a little nice speed there. But um, that's my number four pet peeve of these cars is the engine and how much power they put out. My fifth and final pet peeve is the space in here. There is, these cars are quite thin. As you can see, I've managed to fit a lot in here, but because the wheel arches are so close, I've actually had to raise the platform in my drawers. So they're quite a skinny, narrow car, which in some cases is the best thing for them because off-road, they fit through the skinnier tracks, thinner than the 100 series, 80 series, all those big cars. So it's actually a bit of an advantage when you're driving in the city and stuff. So all of a sudden this hate's turned into an advantage. But when it comes to storing and you want to go long distances, you don't have a canopy on here, not like a Hilux. You don't have any storage space as much because it's so skinny. And that middle seat in the middle is quite small and the center console is quite small. So that's why uh, my fifth hate for this car is storage. I've managed to fit a lot in here as you can see, but there's almost no room up there. You can only really get like a pillow up there. So that's definitely my number five pet peeve about this car is storage. Okay guys, so they're my five top things I hate about my Prada 90 series. Hopefully. Um, you agree with some of them and maybe some of them you're not sure on but if you have one yourself You will definitely agree on probably like a bit of the storage size of things and a bit of the underpowered engine as well But you know, but the you know the advantages the engine will go the distance So it's like you gotta weigh that up um, And you know in terms of like solid axle and stuff I'm being pretty picky because this car's not really designed for that. It's more of a family wagon hence the inside luxuries as I said before um, But I just thought I'd run it through guys. So they're the five things I hate about my, my Prado 90 and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed smash like follow, look at my other content guys hit the bell and I'll catch you guys next time on Built Prado